Hi, thanks for clicking on this video and this is an old piano we have and I just have some footage here of me disassembling it and I can just see the comments now but please be aware that we tried to give this piano away all summer and no takers just people being just poorly behaved I don't know if you know what Craigslist or Kijiji is like but it was bad here's a little mystery or a little treasure we found inside the piano but it, it's just quickly it's a pretty quick video showing some disassembly me removing keys and it, it, it's pretty straightforward I show a few key parts of it um, here's an impact screwdriver and this could be your friend here because it comes with a nice flat bit and that fits in there and you hammer out and it, just, it loosens off these screws some of them you know they're they've been there for many many years so it really helps removing it they're not super expensive and you may have to look at invest in something like this or at least something you can get some good torque on these screws these flat ones are a pain to get out and just me rem removing it just be common sense with it and the big thing here is this I don't know if you call that the soundboard but you know it's the main thing of the the piano and this is me trying to remove it and this was a big mistake so you know learn from me you see all those tuning pegs it, it turns out you would have to remove every single one of it and 88 keys some of the keys have three of them and I'm showing here removing screws with a ratchet, which it, which is nice, but you can do it. It probably can be done, but I, I give up on it because you have to remove all those strings, all those pegs, and then you have a chance of getting that board out. So learn from my mistake. What, what you do and the easiest way is just remove the two sides, and the back comes out with it, and the back. And the the strings all come with it which is so much easier it is glued together and I wanted to resist you know taking any glue apart because you do damage the wood a bit but ultimately it's uh, it's way easier and then you'll just if you are gonna repurpose this piano which is what I'm gonna do yeah, making some shelves out of it yeah I'm showing this it's I actually I have it on here again so you can watch it twice I'm not redoing the edit but yeah but look at all those pegs just don't even think about doing what I'm doing here so it was you know it, this it was embarrassing how long that took but so yeah here's me removing the sides do this and you will have much more success uh, you know I, I, I hate to say it is I probably wasted a couple hours trying to remove that thing. That, you see how far I didn't get very far. So yeah, lean, lean it back on something. Get a friend. I, I'm by myself. So you're going to see some good footage here coming up. That, uh, again, this is super heavy. And don't, don't be dumb. So it, it would have taken me, you know, 30 seconds to grab just, you know, a five-gallon bucket to set this underneath. But um, I'm trying to prop it up with a board and ease it down. But, uh, well, and here we go. Super slow-mo. Some good footage here of a complete idiot at work. This missed my toe by about four inches. You know, that would have been completely crushed. Yeah, I'm trying to dance around it. But, oh, it's embarrassing. But. You know, this is real life. This is YouTube, right? So, anyway, thanks for watching, and um, hopefully this video gives you some insight to what it takes to do this. It's actually not a bad job. It's really dirty, but, you know, a little bit of thing. Woo, yeah, I got my heart going. Yeah, woo, yeah. Okay. All right.